Instead of sleeping in or running errands on a Saturday, people from the surrounding communities have decided to spend their morning volunteering at Evergreen Cemetery. We got here when it was about 45 degrees outside, as you remember, and um, we're warming up and really having a good time. The 60-acre historically black cemetery has been swallowed alive by trees, kudzu, and bushes. Over 5,000 are buried here and are lost due to unmarked graves and overgrown nature. John Shuck has been the volunteer coordinator of the cleanups for four years. He said his first image of Evergreen reminded him of a forest. Before we found this monument, we probably walked right where we are now and didn't even see it. Many different groups and volunteers have been working on the weekends for the past couple of years to try to restore Evergreen to what it used to look like in its previous heyday. And even though there are no pictures of what this cemetery used to look like before the overgrowth, volunteers are still working hard to try to restore it to what it should look like now. People of all different ages have spent their weekends cleaning up Evergreen and taking a tour to learn more about this African-American version of Hollywood Cemetery. These groups have adopted different areas in the cemetery to work on, unearthing graves that haven't seen the light of day in a long time. And they're buried, you know, like six to 18 inches under the ground. So when you find one, you just, you just feel like, you know, you've done some magical thing to unearth a gravestone. A feeling that can last a lifetime. For VCU Insight, I'm Gabrielle Jackson.